As you may have seen, if you've tried to deploy Windows 11 using Windows Deployment Services, that uh, the functionality has been depreciated. If you try and boot from the boot whim of Windows 11, uh, this is the error message you get, and it doesn't actually let you proceed. This is only the case when using Windows Deployment Services. You can still import the image into Microsoft Deployment Toolkit and create a task sequence just fine and use the light touch boot whim. This is just a guide on how to bypass this block. For a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up Windows Deployment Services, check the description for a link to a previous video. A quick way of getting around this is in your deployment server when you load the Windows 10 sorry the Windows 11 boot image also load the Windows 10 of the same version so the latest version of Windows 11 on the release is the 21 H2 version so if you download Windows 10 the 21 H2 version of Windows 10 and use that boot image instead and then install the uh, Windows 11 install image as you normally would, the install.wim. Then in the uh, deployment server, if I just reboot this and then boot again from the network, you can see I've got the Windows 11 and Windows 10 Enterprise boot WIMs. So if I boot from the Windows uh, 10 Enterprise, and then select the language and then authenticate. We can see that both the Windows 10 and the Windows 11 install files are here. So even though we've booted from the Windows 10 boot WIM, we can use Windows 11 Enterprise install WIM and press next. Select the drive we want to install it on and then next to install. As you can see, Windows 11 is now installed. You just go to the system, install the device name, added it to the domain, Windows 11 Enterprise 21H2, install date, today's date. I've done some tests on this and it seems fine. I can't see why it wouldn't be because we have used the standard Windows 11 install win file. The only thing that was different was the Windows 10 boot win, uh, but I can't see that causing any actual issues with the operating system itself. So again, all I've done really is uh, added the Windows 10 boot win, booted from that, and then during the actual install process, selected the Windows 11 Enterprise win during the setup. And that's how you get around the, uh, the block that Microsoft have in place for some reason to stop you using Windows deployment services to install Windows 11.